Hi there, Phil Rogers, Lauren Hall here from Loan Market Edge, coming to you with our first weekly wrap for 2021. So here we are. Happy New Year, everyone. Hope you guys had a, a well-deserved, oh, and Primo. Primo, Primo yes. today. I uh, hope you guys had a well-deserved break and got some downtime with our friends and family and just, um, just definitely took a breath, I yeah. think, yeah. after the year that was. Recharge um, and relax. Recharge and relax. Exciting to have run into the uh, year we have with the pace uh, that's already mm-hmm. on the table, which is really exciting. So we're going to talk through a couple of things today to help set the pace a little bit, I guess, for the year ahead. Um, some interesting stats that come out of one of the majors that between uh, of their customers they surveyed 52 percent of people said that they improved their financial well-being between february and november last year so in, in a picture in, in a time which was probably one of the most challenging you know yeah. pandemic yeah, throughout absolutely. the year and everything was happening some great news to hear and this is one of the majors so it's not a small bank you know cba so one of the majors uh, one of the largest majors 52% of their, their clients said that they improved over that period. So they either you know, uh, reduced expenses, mm-hmm. increased savings, and, and paid off debt. So I just, I read that, I, I was really excited. You know, I know that yes, 24% said that um, it, they were probably worse off, and, and 22% I think said they were about they were. They are. Same, but yeah. Over half people had taken this time, and, and we really want to we want to move forward with that energy into the new year and, and help keep, keep uh, pushing that forward segues into another little section we thought the whole new year new meet well same same meet, year same, it's friday <laughs> superhero friday um but we're talking about setting some goals and what does that mm. look like and it doesn't need to be difficult but really relevant i think this week and end of just before christmas we started doing that with a lot with clients and whether that's purchasing a home whether it's paying off debt whether it's um building a treasure chest whatever that yeah, might look yeah. like um that we thought a couple of simple tips might help so the first one was about setting a budget now i guess not just setting a budget but setting a realistic budget mm-hmm. yeah something that you can stick to yes yeah i think if it's not written down if we're not looking at it it's really hard to track if you can't measure that so um the yeah. first one is to set the budget we do talk to our clients a lot about that Second one is about living below your means. Um, now, who would have thought spending less than what you earn um, would be yeah, beneficial? Yeah. Um, but I think you know if we talk about uh, some ideas there mm-hmm. uh, about cutting expenses. You yeah, were... absolutely. There's some great tools that can help in that space. So uh, you've got your your money smart calculators. That's on the ASIC website. The banks have got track my spending apps. Even things like starting the new year fresh by reviewing insurances. Uh, review subscriptions, gym memberships, your Netflix, your stand, all that kind of stuff. It's actually really surprising those little bill payments or direct debits that come out and you don't really see them. They so just keep coming out. Surprising and confronting, perhaps, mm-hmm. when you start to measure and track yeah. this budget. You know, a little little less Uber Eats and a bit more Jamie Oliver. Yeah. You know, I think we've all seen that through this period. Um, not very well, but we've learned to cook. We've probably learned to spend a little bit more time at home and spend a little bit more or less outdoors with those expenses. But especially, yeah, the subscriptions and all those yeah. things, they do add up massively. And I think if we can cut back the whole, you know, a, a cup of coffee a day, those sorts of things, it all adds up. So maybe reviewing that, getting it all written down, starting mm-hmm. to track that. Mm-hmm. Um, we talk about monitoring your progress. Yeah, so we're going to do all these great things that you need to actually take the time, whether it's month, once a month, maybe look down the apps, like you mentioned, the Absolutely. track my spend yep. through the banking, have yep. a look at your budget and, and have a look at the actual, because there's a fair chance that maybe the first couple of months, there might be a little bit of a difference. So mm-hmm. again, just some really simple tips. I mean, tip number four was to ring us. So it should, shameless should be number one. It should have been number one. First yep. thing you do to, to improve your financial position in 2021, number one, ring us. We'll do the rest. Yeah. Pretty so, much. but you know, having those conversations, talk about what those goals are. Understand, you know, if we're going to set these goals, we want them to be realistic. Mm-hmm. Or what are they? Actually, understand what the plan is. You know, yeah. if we want to purchase a property. If you do have, you want to reduce that. Well, what do we need to do to achieve that? You do need a goal. Yeah. It gives you more motivation and something yeah. to work towards. Yeah. Absolutely. And the excitement of, of of tracking that along the way and mm-hmm. celebrating the wins and the rewards. And you know, it, it's nice to be part of that journey with clients. So it's definitely doors open from our side and we love to help you guys not only 
I guess, set those goals, but kick those goals. Yeah. You know, 2021 is, is going to be an amazing year for a lot. You know, interest rates are at an all-time um, low. There's a lot of money in the system. A lot of people are coming back in a million, you know, over half are in a better financial position Absolutely. than they've ever been. Let's help, you know, sort of take that to the next level. I wanted to also, well, we wanted to also talk about the banks a little bit and I guess what's happening there, um, segueing into... The time frames are probably the same conversation we had uh, each we week. We have a lot. So I'm yeah. a little bit repetitive, but... It's not uh, going anywhere, though. It's not going anywhere. The, the banks are still taking time. They are lending money. Good news, they're lending money. Mm-hmm. Um, other good news, rates have never been cheaper. Yep. You know, we're doing... They are, we are, everyone. There's record volumes in the market, in sales, in, in, in loans. But because of that... They are just taking that little bit longer. Yeah. yeah, we do need to be organized. We need to be talking a few weeks out. It's very difficult. There's a lot of banks that wouldn't make 14 days in the current market. You would struggle with, you know, from a standing start with one of the majors to make that type of time frame. Yeah, and then from our side, it's also spending the time, you know, working in your best interest to show you mm. that process to do that research. When you have 60 plus banks, you start with you first and the bank last. Yeah. Yeah, so it's really important to understand the need, your needs first, and then finding a bank that can actually help achieve mm. those. So mm-hmm. there's just a process in there. It takes a little bit of time. The good thing is they are approving them, but um, please be organised. Please reach out to and us it, early. It just puts you in a better position when you go and negotiate. Your terms are much more favourable. In a market like this where there's a lot of people out wanting to buy, you've got to be in the best position uh, to be able to negotiate and get an offer accepted. So we see a lot of people that miss out because they're not organised. And, it, you know, for us, it's really important our clients are, are in the best position and put their best foot forward uh, to be able to secure a property. Yeah, so just a lot of those conversations, a lot of energy, a lot of fun. We, you know, this week has been the first week back. Um, no naps, unfortunately. There's, there's no, no well, into I'm, it. I'm trying to get back into a cycle. Mm. There's no naps and no afternoon beers. Well, not, yep. not every day. So, um, no, look, we're looking forward to a huge 2021 and we're looking forward to, to working with and supporting um, you guys going forward. So any questions, as always, call out. Um, but look forward to chatting next week. Yep. See Bye ya. for now. Bye.